today we will look at what is Cauchy residue theorem and it is a useful method to solve let's say complex index like f of z dz and yeah this is the definition of Cauchy residue theorem that is if f of x is an analytic function on a single post corner except at finite number of points and that points are called singular point or poles then if this condition is satisfied then we can say that integral over the host contour c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i into r1 plus r2 plus etc r where r1 r2 etc represents the corresponding residue of the singular point and we will talk about what is what is uh, a pole or a singular point it is it is nothing but the point the complex point where the function become infinite or the function is not defined so before that we will look at uh, we will look at how to find the residues of uh, some pole some kind of poles like simple pole and pole of order n and for infinite pole so first we will look at residue of simple pole that is order of 1 and the residue will be limit z 10 tends to a z minus a into f of z f of z is the function and a is the point at which the function is not defined that is a is the singular point this is how we find residue of a single pole and residue of a residue of pole of order n n r at z is equal to a is equal to limit z tending to a 1 by n minus 1 factorial d raised to n minus 1 divided by d z raised to n minus 1 z minus a all raised to n f of z uh, just i will write here again limit z tending to a 1 by n minus 1 factorial d raised to n minus 1 divided by d z raised to n minus 1 z minus a all raised to n into f of z yeah same z a is the point at which, at which the uh, the function become simple yeah and let now let's talk about pole of pole of pole at infinity pole at infinity that is set tending to infinity infinity becoming a singular point so in that case the residue will be limit set tending to infinity minus z in the of z yeah this is how we look at now let us look at some examples that is how we can find the singular point or pole of a given function here is example f of z is equal to 1 minus 2 z divided by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 we know that singular point is the point where the functions become infinite or not defined in that case the the denominator should be is equal to 0 then only we can have the function not defined so it has to be is equal to 0 so the values of z can be 0 z can be 1 and z can be 2 and these are the singular points and you should notice that the here z raised to 1 z minus 1 raised to 1 z minus 2 raised to 1 so the whole the order of all poles, order of all poles are 1. So this is a simple pole. So for z is equal to 0, the residue will be r is equal to limit z tending to 0, z minus 0 into f of z, which is 1 minus 2 z divided by 
set into set minus 1 into set minus 2 this this and this will cancel out and substituting 0 we get 1 divided by minus 1 into minus 2 which is 1 by 2 which is the pole when set is equal to 0 is the singular point and now let's just flip when set is equal to 1 residue will be limit set ending to 1 set minus 1 into 1 minus 2 set divided by set into set minus 1 into set minus 2 this this will cancel when substituting 1 you get 1 minus 2 divided by 1 into 1 minus 2 this minus 1 which is 1 yeah for sorry then yeah then for z is equal to 2 we have r is equal to limit z tending to 2 to z minus 2 into 1 minus 2 z divided by z into z minus 1 into z minus 2 this and this will cancel and substituting 1 you get 1 minus 4 divided by 2 into 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 divided by 2 this is how we calculate residue of a given singular point now, now, now let's look at another example which is f of z is equal to z square minus 2 z divided by z plus 1 whole square into z square plus 4 yeah, here we have to look carefully because here this is not a simple pole. So, in order to have function become infinity, we have z plus 1 whole square is equal to 0 and z square plus 4 is equal to 0. This means that z plus 1 is equal to 0, z is equal to minus 1, comma minus 1. That is here raised to the power 2. So this is the order of the pole is 2. Order is equal to 2. It has to be 2. That is, this is the, price, uh, the number raised to the n. Raised to n. It has to be n rows. In that same situation, z plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So it has to be two values. And in this case, the two values has same. So the order of this z plus 1 whole square is equal to 0 is 2. And this is one set of singular point. Next set is z square plus 4 is equal to 0. z square is equal to minus 4. z is equal to plus or minus 2i. And here the order is, sorry, here the order has to be 1. Because z square plus 4 all raised to 1. So the order is 1. Don't confuse that z plus 1 whole square and z square plus 1 whole square. You may think that in this case z square has the power 2. That is not the case. We are considering z plus z square plus 4 as a unit. So the power of that that combination is 1. So the order has to be 1. So this is a simple pole. Symbol pole. And you have the equation and you can find easily the residue of each each singular point.